Hey curl friends, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today, I spent too much monies. I finally gave in and purchased with my own coins the very popular Dyson Supersonic Blow Dryer and Diffuser. This thing costs four hundred dollars. A four hundred dollar blow dryer. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I had no desire to purchase this blow dryer. I already thought that the Diva dryer at one fifty nine was very expensive. How did we get here? This diffuser better be so amazing. This better take my hair from drenching wet to beautiful dry curls in 60 seconds. That's what I expect for $400. So I'm gonna do a live unboxing for you right now. I haven't opened this. It actually arrived like a week or so ago and I just had to look at it because I knew I had to film everything. So you're welcome. So although this is $399.99, I did buy it from Sephora while they were having a 25% off sale. So I did get a little savings and I got the exclusive, um, what do you call it? Limited edition holiday kit that came with these two free gifts. Am I ever going to use them? Probably not, because I'm not gonna straighten my hair. But I mean, for the same price as just the blow dryer, might as well, right? Oh, so here are the gifts. Cute, love the fuchsia color. Is this just a large comb? Does this attach to something or is it just a weird? I don't know. We'll get back to that. Okay. Here she goes. Ooh. That new, new. So here we are ladies and gentlemen, I got the beautiful fuchsia color, the diffuser attachment and some other ones to um, straighten your hair, but we're not going to use those, no, not really. Okay, so, ooh, it has, has some weight to it. It's so cute though. I do like how cute it is. It's definitely a different look. Does it pop on there? Oh, wrong way. Newbie! Oh, that's easy. It has like a magnetic little snap to it. Oh, this is gonna be cute. This is gonna be really cute on videos. Okay, I'm getting excited. I'm getting excited. It has a pretty long cord actually, so that's nice. You can get some distance if your outlet isn't too close. But let's go to the website and see all the claims of what is so amazing about this dryer. So according to the website, the Dyson Supersonic Hair Dryer is engineered to protect hair from extreme heat damage, okay? That's good, very important. You guys know how I feel about heat. It has the fastest drying and controlled styling to help increase smoothness by 75% and increase shine up to 132%, wow. And decrease frizz and flyaways by up to 61%. Okay, those are all great things. If this can do that, that will be very impressive. So the diffuser attachment is supposed to simulate natural air drying, helping to reduce frizz and define curls and waves. Long prongs, I guess they're pretty long, allows you to style hair with control and reach deep into the hair. All right, that's enough talking. Let's just get started. So because I have high expectations for this blow dryer, I want to try this on wet hair straight out the shower. So I did have to put on my makeup, so let me just re-dampen this real quick. Because I want to see what this does on day one hair. As some of you might know, I usually like to style my hair, let it air dry for about 85%, which does take a long time, and then I diffuse to avoid frizz. But if I could skip that whole waiting period and just go straight into diffusing after adding my styling products, that would be clutch. 
Okay, so this portion of today's video is sponsored by Not Your Mother's. I just washed my hair with the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk line, an obvious fave of mine, and I used their Curl Care Shampoo, sulfate free, and then I ended it off with the 3-in-1 Conditioner. The 3-in-1 Conditioner can be used as a leave-in conditioner, as a rinse-out conditioner, or as a co-wash. So I had some easy detangling with that conditioner. And now I'm going to style my hair using two products in the Curl Talk line. All these products are now available at Walmart, so go get you some if you haven't already on Black Friday. So I'm gonna start off with the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Defining Cream. It's supposed to define your curls. Oh, it smells so good, so good. Um, I don't know if I've showed you guys a cocktail with these products yet, but I'm going to combine the Curl Talk Curl Defining Cream and the mousse today. When using a diffuser, you want two things. You want moisture in your hair so your curls don't get dried out. And you also want a product that will give you some hold because you are adding some air, blowing it around. So if you can have a nice little cast, it'll protect your curls from the diffuser creating frizz. Since I really, really want this diffuser to work, I thought I'd use my favorite products to really give it a fair shot. <laughs> Let's just try this weird comb. It's very flimsy. This is me trying to use things that come with it. <laughs> okay, now I've got my cream base to give me some extra moisture and shine. Now for the hold and definition, I'm gonna go in with the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Mousse, one of my favorite stylers of all time. Let's give it a little shake. Ooh, and watch it expand. Oh yeah. Now although the curl activating mousse says a level two in the hold and says soft and touchable, I don't know, I get some really good hold from this. And there you have it. Now the time has come. I want to see if I can go from straight up applying my products straight to diffusing without getting frizz and without having to diffuse for an hour. So let's see. I'm actually going to do a timer out of curiosity. And then let me know if you guys want me to do like a Dyson versus another blow dryer to see, you know, who wins. So on here, there is a little fan speed button, a power button. Um, this might be a cool shot. Let's just experiment. Ooh. It sounds so cute. <laughs> All right, level one, level two. Ooh, that's warm. Level three, and then the heat setting. Got it. So here are your fan speeds. Here's your heat. I'm gonna go high fan speed, medium heat, this is the power button, and I'll see what the cool shot feels like. Okay, let's do this! I'm so excited! Start the timers! On your mark, get set, go! Okay, that was exactly 10 minutes. And my hair is basically dry. I maybe could do, wow. <laughs> maybe I'll do another little 30 seconds, but for the most part, we are 99.7% dry. Okay guys, I mean, look at my hair. 
It looks really shiny. I never thought about using a diffuser to add shine. I mean, granted, I know my products are definitely good, but I was able to apply product and diffuse immediately without getting any frizz. That is major. And if I can go from soaking wet to dry in 10 minutes, that's pretty fire. Is this worth it? Is this worth the $400? Every curl looks shiny, like individually shiny. <sighs> Money well spent. Product-wise, the diffuser did get rid of the cast, so my curls are just really soft, really light and fluffy, but still very defined. Let's get a full look-see, shall we? The side looking good, defined, shiny. Completely dry now. In 10 minutes. 10 minutes, you guys? Time is money. So one of the main reasons that I usually wait for my hair to be about 85% dry is that I don't want to put too much heat on my hair for too long. I know so many curly girls that diffuse for 30 minutes to an hour. Not only is that a lot of heat on your hair, even just from diffusing, it's a lot of back problems because you're probably hunched over for like an hour. <laughs> so if I can go from wet hair to dry to fine curls in like 10 minutes, I definitely think that is a plus. Functionality wise, it was a little interesting to have the buttons on the outside. When I diffuse, I'm usually like this upside down, so it would have been nice to have the buttons on the inside, I think, so I can adjust accordingly, hit the cool shot button. Otherwise, I have to hold it like this, and like that's just not a, a natural, comfortable hold. The fan is actually pretty quiet, and the heat does get hot. So even though I had on the medium heat setting, I think that was good enough to get my hair dry without too much heat on it. So this was my first impressions of the Dyson Supersonic Blow Dryer. I definitely wish that it wasn't $400. I don't really like anything that can discourage people from going natural or rocking their natural curly hair. I don't want people to think that you have to have a $400 fancy smancy blow dryer in order to have beautiful curls. No, there are affordable options for everything. Same with products. That's exactly why I love promoting products like Not Your Mother's because these products are under $10 each, available at Walmart. They're always on sale. So you can get beautiful curls at an affordable price, even if you don't have a really expensive blow dryer. But at the same time, if you work hard and you got the money for it and you want to splurge on yourself, do you, boo. You deserve it. Get you your Dyson. Whatever makes you happy. So from now on, you will most likely see me use my Dyson Supersonic Blow Dryer in the rest of my curly hair videos. If you already have a Dyson Supersonic Blow Dryer and Diffuser, leave me a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. Do you love it? Do you think it's worth it? Spill all the tea. If you want more curly hair videos, make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post new videos every Sunday. You also can follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at Ms. Bianca Renee. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today. Yeah.